Simply put, dynamic text is a way of changing the text on your page under conditions you set yourself, for example by location or source. Dynamic text works by displaying different text corresponding with query strings in the URL. Query strings are variables you set to trigger dynamic elements. For example, in Convertry, query strings are also used to populate form fields with text before a customer has entered their own details, or even help run affiliate programs. But first, why use dynamic text at all? Well, targeted copy increases conversions. So let's look at location. If you wanted to show a different welcome message to people from Glasgow, for example, in the past you would have to set up two different pages, one for non-Glasgow people and one for Glasgow people, and then you'd send different market segments to each one. But with dynamic text, you only need one page and a query string parameter called location. Then you just enter Glasgow as the variable in your URL. Share this URL with your Glasgow prospects, e.g. with location-targeted Facebook ads, so that everyone who lived in that city, determined by Facebook, would see your welcome message, determined by your URL. So here's how to set up dynamic text. In the page builder, click to add a text element, or edit an existing text element. This will be your default message you want to show if a variable isn't set, e.g. attention all car owners in the UK. Next, select the text you want to change for different audiences, e.g. the location. Then click the More drop-down in the Text Toolbar. Then click Add New under Dynamic Text. Next, enter your parameter. This is what your dynamic text will be called. For example, Location or even Source. Click Add. And your dynamic text will now be highlighted in green to show a dynamic parameter is active. So to see how dynamic text works, click on save and then publish. So if this is your first time, it's a good idea to create a test page. Next, view your page and your default message will be shown. Click on the page's URL and add something like question mark your parameter equals your variable. This will replace your dynamic text with whatever comes after the equals sign in the URL. But please note, Convertry does not sort, categorize, or identify variables. So even if you set your parameter to be location, source, or any other specific type, your dynamic text will display any random word that is entered after the equal sign in the URL. To remove one instance of dynamic text, but keep the parameter for other instances on the page, select the text you want to stop being dynamic. Then click on the More drop-down in the text toolbar. Under Dynamic Text, toggle the parameter or parameters you wish to remove off. And to remove a parameter and disable all instances of Dynamic Text connected to it, simply click inside any text element on the page and click on the More drop-down in the text toolbar. Under Dynamic Text, click on the trash can icon next to the parameter you want to delete. A confirmation message will appear. If you're really sure, just press delete. Once you've created a parameter, you can apply it to more than one bit of text on the page. To do this, simply select the text you want to make dynamic, click on the More drop-down in the text toolbar, and under Dynamic Text, toggle on the parameter you want to apply. This will replace all instances of the parameter with the, any variable entered into the URL. Google will only ever read your page's default text. So, as far as search engines are concerned, your default text is what will show up in search results. This means you won't be able to use dynamic text to rank for multiple variables. But you can add as many parameters as you want for a customized experience. Simply select the text you want to make dynamic, 
Click on the More drop down in the text toolbar and click Add New below your existing parameters. So to configure multiple terms, just enter an ampersand between query strings in the URL. If your dynamic text is longer than your default text, it may be hidden beyond the boundaries of the text box and overlap other elements. To combat this, use enough white space in your design so long text strings have room to breathe. It's also a good idea to use transparent backgrounds to dynamic text elements as the background will not grow beyond the element box to encompass long text strings.